Hey guys, what? It's Anthony here, and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to use Shoutcastle Sam. Um, this is what I use to broadcast a Wizzy World podcast with each week, uh, which there's one on Friday. If anyone's interested in going, you can go to the website www.wizzyworld.com, w-h-i-z-z-i-w-o-r-l-d.com forward slash live, and uh, you can listen to the podcast. Each week we talk about tech, but that's not what this is about. Um, right now, Shoutcast, I only have Sam open. I'm a genius. Um, I'll be using Sam. If you don't have Sam, I also did a tutorial in Winamp for uh, Shoutcast, but that is on a site called Rever. It's currently uploading right now. Um, if you want to go see how to do it in Winamp, you can go there and see how to do it. But I'm be showing you how to do it in uh, Sam, which is the program that I use. Uh, it's a very, very nice, lovely program. But uh, first, we're gonna start with the Shoutcast server, Mount Monitor, and uh, we're gonna set up some things. Um, the only stuff I'm gonna show you how to do is the first three things, and explaining them a little bit. Uh, it's just required stuff. It's nothing really important. Just required stuff. Um, you need to see what your upload is. Um, upload does vary between computer user and ISP. Um, I broadcast about 48 um, kbps. Um, so I do about 10 users because I've never actually gotten over 6 users. So you know, I figure, you know, why waste? Um, so I stick about 10. And um, Depending on uh, your upload, you can figure out what you can broadcast at, uh, what speed, and how many people. Um, it's pretty self-explanatory, you know. Just a little bit of math, you can figure it out. Um, but I, I usually do about 10 or 20 users, depending on how high quality I want to broadcast at. Um, anything like that. If you, if you have any questions on that, I can explain that further in depth, because I do know a lot about that. Um, but I'm just kind of briefing. Uh, if your if your upload is about 256 or 512, I'd stick to about 10 or 20. Um, if you're gonna do 20 users, keep it at 24 kbps. If your upload is 512, um, if your upload is 256, I would not go above 10 on 24 kbps, which they say here. Um, my upload is higher than that, but I still do 10 just because I could support 20, but I don't. And your password is completely up to you. This is very, very important for later, so keep that in mind. Um, in the port base, I use 8080. The default's 8000, or the port that always works, 5412. Um, I use 8080. 5412 should say random port that has no meaning behind it, but it is a very lucky port and it works all the time. So uh, once you finish that, you can close it and you can save it. I'm not going to save it because I have mine configured and I don't need you guys seeing all my information. Okay, so since you're using SAM, you want to open up SAM if you're using Winamp. Now would be a good time to switch to the other one on Rever, which is just successfully uploaded. Um, okay, open up SAM and you can see right now I have a cluster of I just have an entire mess. Okay, uh, this dot V. Here's the encoder. Okay, so once you get your encoders, actually everything's right here. You just can't see it because I'm running in such a low resolution for quality. Um, once you start doing this, you you add the encoder by going over to encoder. You press add. I do uh, MP3 Pro. Click on the bubble. And everything's pretty self explanatory. Like we said before, the format, we're not going to go above 48 if your upload is not 512. If your upload is 512 or lower, don't go above 48 unless you're not going to be supporting very many people. It's just going to lag. Um, it's about 48, or uh, that's why I broadcast right here. This is the one I use. Quality is only some medium just because it's a talk show. Uh, server details, okay. This gets a little tricky. If you're broadcasting from your computer, you're going to put local host. If you're broadcasting to another computer who is hosting the shoutcast, you're going to put the IP in here. The port, of course, is 8080 because that's what I set it as. And the password is my password, which 
which I would not tell you people. Server details, all this is you guys. Um, I don't know why I'm doing this. Okay, right here, list on public stations. This is where you can get in trouble with the FCC. Um, if you're going to do this, you cannot broadcast any signed music, such as anything that plays on the radio, anything that plays on the TV. If you do, you're going to get caught, and you're going to get a nice big fine. Um, and you can, okay, the sa safest way to say is you cannot, like, hand out or advertise if you're going to be playing signed stuff, such as anything that plays on the radio or TV, as I just said. If you're not going to be playing anything signed, and you're just going to be talking or playing anything that is um, unsigned, any bands like that, it is legal, as far as I know, and you can list on public servers. I list on public servers because I just do a talk show. It's completely legal. And enable tile streaming. Um, once again, depends what you're broadcasting and who you're broadcasting to. It's up to you. Uh, and you can save the stream to a file, but I, I don't do that all the time. I do it sometimes. Okay, so we can now save this encoder, which is actually right here. It's exactly the same thing. And to start this encoder, you right click. No, you don't. Oh, it's down here. <laughs> I'm just going to delete the one I just started because I don't need that. You press it and start currently selected encoder. It's logging in, and it is encoding. Go back over here, it has one source, and Shoutcast is connected. I mean, um, yeah, the Shoutcast website is connected. Okay, so I'm going to turn off the encoder because I'm not broadcasting anything besides my own voice. And I'm going to go over to the Shoutcast, and I'm going to kill the server because I'm now done with the server. Okay. Um, there's a bunch of things you can do in SAM, such as see how many people you have listening graph. Um, if you are already using SAM, you should know how to use SAM. It's not a tutorial on SAM, it's on Shoutcast. Um, this is assuming that you already have all your ports forwarded and you know how to do that. Um, Alright, so uh, I think that's it. If you need the one for WinIP, it's on Rever. Uh, just go to my username on Rever and find it. Because most of the ones on YouTube are in Spanish, so are entirely too loud or um, I don't know, they're, they're, they're just annoying. So uh, that's going to do it for this tutorial, and this is Exanticory signing out.